in our we're joined here by Delaney Sheehan. Delaney, great performance. You've got a start and an assist. Just tell us about the match. How are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling really good. We're, it was a big team win and on the road, so we're excited about it. Excellent. Uh, media members, if you can please click the raise hand icon. Um, we will take your questions in the order that they come in. Please also give your media outlet um, so Delaney knows who she's talking to. We'll start with Janet Sinelli. Jenna, I don't think we can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Um, it's Jenna Tonelli with Equalizer. Thanks so much for taking the time. Congrats on the win. Um, and also congrats on the assist. Uh, you know, I know you've been a player that's been around Gotham for a couple of years now. And so finally getting a goal contribution. Um, you know, how has just the, you know, your, you know, trajectory been with the team and how does it feel to, to get on the board? Yeah, it's been really good. I feel like I'm just embracing this role in whatever way I can help the team. And honestly, with that assist, the key pass was Sinead's pass to me. But um, yeah, it's been good. And Taylor had a great finish. So awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Congrats again. Thank you. Thanks, Jenna. Our next question will go to Nubia Finko. Nubia? Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, Delaney. This is Nubia with Shea Better FC podcast and the local W. On first, congrats on the start. And you've already talked about working with Sinead Fairley. So just your thoughts on her as a player and her developing with this team back in the NWSL. Um, I love Sinead. I feel like we have a really good connection. Uh, we play really similar. I like the style she plays and she's a huge asset to this team. And I think she's only going to get better and better. So we've just seen her sort of getting back into things. So I'm really happy to play with her. And yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nubia. Our next question will go to Courtney Stitt. Courtney? Hi, uh, Courtney Stitt, Desk United in the Athletic. Uh, congrats on the win. I did, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. I should have asked that before I started talking. Um, just on the assist, was it like, have you been practicing a lot of back heels? Can you just take through that moment of like, oh yeah, I should 100% go for the back heel here versus, I don't know, finding a way to pass the ball in another way? Um, I didn't actually use my heel. I don't know if it looked like that. But it was kind of like a no look. But um, yeah, I think that we've worked a lot on how we can connect better in the attacking third and just kind of like move off each other. So I saw Taylor make the run and Sinead obviously played a great ball to me. So they made it easy around me. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, to our media members, if you have any questions, a reminder to please raise your hand. All right, looks like we've got another one from Jenna. Jenna, go ahead. Yes, um, one more for me. Um, so I don't know uh, if you saw Delaney, but now with this win, Gotham sits at alone at the top of the table. So, you know, what does that mean for you, especially coming off last year to this year, um, just to to see the team a third of the way done at the top? Yeah, I, I mean, it's obviously still early in the season, but we knew that going into this game and we knew it was going to be a big game and then it could set us at the top. So we're really, really excited for it. Obviously, as you said, coming off of last year, at the bottom of the table. So it's a step in the right direction, but it's early. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right, and it looks like we have one more from Courtney Stitt. Courtney? Sorry, that was my mistake. I thought I lowered my hand. No worries. Um, any other questions from our media members? All right, thank you for joining us. We will try to get Lynn Williams and the head coach in shortly. Thank you, Delaney. Thank you.